So there's a lot of changes in this room today. So we'll have a group <laughs> that's gonna work on tagging. I'm Tina Ebsen, I'm program director for Reedska. The heart of my work is Kindling Studios. Kindling Studios is a working art studio for adult artists with developmental disabilities. We teach about art and entrepreneurship skills so that they can learn to become the artist that they want to be. We started as a pilot program in 2015 here at Studio Channel Islands Art Center in Old Town Camarillo. They created art and products to sell on Etsy and it kind of took off. What they're doing here is they're really learning to be professional artists. The artists participate in different tasks necessary for keeping up a shop. The tags we have are soap, gemstone, blue, kindling studios. They manage inventory, take product photos, upload them to make listings for online sale. We have someone do all the accounting and process the payments. These people have a passion for art, for drawing, painting, weaving, sculpting, and it so happens that they have autism, Down syndrome, or another developmental disability. They're just all amazing individuals. Mark creates tiny, intricate sculptures made exclusively from Crayola Model Magic. I like it that the clay makes my imaginative thinking into a reality. He just started molding since he was very young. I heard about Kindling from a lot of people. They would always tell me, you need to take them to Kindling. They're going to take them to the next step. Well, I'm thinking of working at a studio, hopefully in Hollywood. This is a, a really huge dinosaur from outer space. And this is a, a Kabuki Indominus Rex. Lee Burke is an illustrator, and he has a fascination for vanity license plates. Um, you can just call me Lee, and I love license plates so much. What Lee does is he creates art around the themes of the license plates that he finds. They aren't just really make-believe. They look a little different because there's one that's blue, and that one right here, it's an agricultural license plate. Wow. Kat is an artist and writer, and especially prolific poet. It releases my soul onto paper so people can get an idea of what it's like for an autistic to perceive the world. I was actually commissioned by the superior head of the mayor to speak at the mini meetings. And here's a snippet of my poem. I am an artist, not a stigma of a label or a diagnosis, but an artist. Not a clinical diagnosis, first and foremost, attempting to fit in to the artist realm. For we as artists, first and foremost, have already achieved fitting in to the artist realm. I can't express to you enough um, about the sense of accomplishment and value that our artists feel when the public gets to see their work. I, some of our artists have really opened up and gained a lot of confidence, not just as artists, but also in their personal lives and uh, finding really like the freedom to be themselves. These paintings are from David from Kindling Studios and everybody, all the customers are talking about it and they actually have purchased many of them from David himself directly. David's popular. These are people that have a passion for art and they identify as being artists and this is their, their profession that they want to pursue.